Hey guys, XC, and what you just saw is what we're going to be making today in Adobe After Effects CS5. Start out by making a new composition, and then a new solid, and then come up here to Effect, Generate, Lens Flare, and then you're going to want the lens flare to be in the exact middle. So just, that looks good enough to me. Then you're going to want to make the layer smaller by dragging it down to about there. And come down here to the transfer mode and put it on add. And if you don't see this, hit F4 on your keyboard and that changes between the two different options. So after you have that set up, hit Control D twice to duplicate the layer twice. And then you're going to want to set the rotation to 1 by hitting R on your keyboard to 45. And the other to negative 45. Now we have our basic flare, so what we're going to want to do is select all these layers by hitting control and clicking them and come up here to layer pre-compose and then just call this flare and hit OK. So now all of them are combined into one layer and it looks kinda cool. So now we need to animate the flare across the screen so just drag it over to the side and if you hold shift it'll keep it so it stays straight and doesn't like go up or down at all. So now you want to hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position and keyframe it so about three seconds in I don't know drag it all the way to the other side and now if we preview this, all that happens is the flare goes across the screen, nothing too fancy, but now let's add some text. So, new layer, text, now let's say xthenetwork.com, and then let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go, that looks kind of nifty having the .com smaller. Alright, then you're going to want to come and turn title action safe on just so you can line it up in the center, which is rather important. So, good enough for a tutorial. I'm not going to spend my time on this. You obviously want to make sure this is a lot more perfect, but... Anyways, now what you're going to want to do is come over to Effects and Presets and search for Linear. And then find Linear Wipe and apply that to the text. And then you're going to want to find exactly where the flare comes onto the screen, about halfway on. So, right, um right about there I'd say you want to set a keyframe on the transition completion and put it to a hundred and then move forward until the things about halfway off the screen so right there and change it to zero and now if we preview this you see it goes backwards so what you're going to want to do is change the wipe angle to negative ninety and now if we preview this again as you can see, the text kind of wipes on behind the flare. Very cool, simple effect. Only took a couple of minutes. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, all that shazam, and bye.